Hi, it's Mike from Performance Shooting Incorporated. Today I'm going to do a video um, detailing the breakdown of two different chronographs, a very expensive lab radar, cost over $500, and a very inexpensive shooting chrony. The shooting chrony was about $129. I've had that for years, that's what I've been using. Seems to work fine, but you never really know if they're accurate. The lab radar is advertised at 99.9% .9 accurate, it uses Doppler radar and signal processing, digital signal processing to achieve that. Uh, so I feel much better, I put my trust into that. I know it's a lot of money, but I'm looking for extreme precision. I'm into bench rest and F-class shooting, and I'm constantly chasing that one whole group. Uh, both chronographs will give you very similar information. They give you maximum, minimum, and average velocity, as well as extreme spreads and standard deviations. Uh, velocity, during the test that we did, we measured velocity on a total of 12 rounds fired from one of my target guns. You'll see it in, later in the video. It's a uh, 6BR accurately improved. The shooting chrony, we had placed 15 feet in front of the muzzle per the directions. And the lab radar was right next to the muzzle measuring muzzle velocity. So we did expect a slight variation in, in speed. I think the lab radar, in my opinion, is worth the money for that 99.9% .9 accuracy. It's, it's what you need to do when you're working up a load. You need to get that spread as, as tight as possible. 31 feet per second, like I had here, is not acceptable. Um, I was in the very early stages of the testing on that load. I try, and I try to get it down to 10 feet per second or less, and, and that's achievable. And you really see a difference in your groups. At th I shoot mainly 300 yard groups, and when you get your spread down, your groups will go down substantially. Um, I do want to show you this lab radar. It's all set up here, and I bought some extras for it. So the unit itself is anywhere from $510 to $559 online. Um, I bought this bench rest adapter right here. Comes with this and this. Uh, that's $40. I bought this nice padded bag to carry it in, another $40, and I bought this battery pack, $25 from Lab Radar. Um, I used it a day and a half, and I went through six batteries. It takes six double A's, I believe, and then the first, uh, making the video the first day, and the next day, at half a day, it chewed up to six batteries, so I figured this would be worth it. This is supposed to charge 500 times, and I've ran it for two hours so far, and it's still almost full of battery on this so this seems to be working pretty well this works great if you're going to shoot off a bench so you don't have to use a tripod it makes it quicker quicker to set up and that's what I'm looking for I can carry this inside the case this straps to the back of it I take this put it in the front the screw I can get everything in one package it's all protected it's all safe now I have six hundred and twenty dollars in this unit because I paid five hundred ten for it with all the extras uh, I think it's worth it. I think my groups are going to go down having the ability to fine-tune my velocity uh, better than I ever have with a shooting chrony. Uh, and I don't want to discredit that. It's a great unit and I think under the perfect conditions and if you followed the directions perfectly it, it would probably be very accurate. But the directions talk about sunny days use a shield and cloudy days don't and I set up the same every time, I don't even pay attention to that, so it's partly my fault. But um, the comparison showed, you know, the lab radar had a, had a much smaller deviation and spread. And, and I gotta believe those are more accurate. I mean, you never really know we're, we're putting our trust in this, and I'm putting my trust in this. They advertise 99.9%. .9%. I hope that's what we're getting. Um, later in this video, you'll see the actual, some of the footage from the actual shooting and the gun and the rest that I use and that's uh, pretty typical for what I use in bench rest and for um, F-class shooting.
2984 here. 2965. Well, what we found was the lab radar showed an average velocity over the 12 shots of 2982 with an extreme spread of 31 feet per second. The shooting crony showed an average velocity of 2955, but it had an extreme spread of 66 feet per second, which is kind of concerning. Um, you ask yourself what, what may affect that, and it can be lighting, I guess, is a big uh, effect on a shooting crony, and weather conditions. I got 2980 on lab radar. You know, but it is it is more than adequate to use uh, the velocity that we got off that to go from a 300 yard zero to a thousand yard zero. I just did that a few weeks ago. My first shot at a thousand yards was eight inches off, eight inches off the center impact. And like I said, so that other the other shooting crony for 129 dollars. If you want to go out and hit a pipe plate at a thousand yards, it'll work more than adequate for that. Uh, the setup's quite a bit longer, and you got to make sure that you that your bullet's going through the uh, the two wires, as you'll see, or you can shoot to shoot them and cause all kinds of problems. As always, I hope you like my videos and subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks for watching.